Hello, and welcome to the Gamer's Closet. I'm your host, Douglas Weed, and today we're going to be talking about Racco. Racco is a card game manufactured by Milton Bradley in 1956. The edition I have here is from 1982. The game runs for about 45 minutes of game time, is rated for two to four players, and is rated for ages eight and up. But let's dig into it a little further, shall we? Milton Bradley, it's... Backflow! You take a card and put it in a rack. If you don't want it, put it back. Very first player to make a run says... Let's go! What fun! That's Racco, Milton Bradley's great card game for two, three, or four players of any age. Get... Let's go! What fun! And here's another great fun game from Milton Bradley. Easy money. Two good reasons that Milton Bradley makes the best games in the world. Get Racco. And easy money from MB. Racco was created by Milton Bradley in 1956. The game is for two to four players and also partner play. The game is still currently in print today under the Hasbro banner. The game has been released in other countries, including Sweden, Canada, and Germany. This game does come with multiple pieces. It comes with a deck of 60 Racco cards, comes with four card racks, one set of instructions, and depending on which version you have, a possibility of a draw and discard tray. In this video, I will be going over the rules for regular Racco and for the variant of bonus Racco. The object of regular Racco is to be the first to replace cards in your rack by drawing cards from the pile, as in Rummy, so that the numbers read in any numerical progression from low to high. Racco cards are numbered from 1 to 60. If 4 are plain, use all 60 cards. If 3 are plain, use cards 1 through 50. And if 2 people are plain, use cards 1 through 40. This game comes with one draw discard tray and four racks for holding players' cards. Each player uses one rack. The number 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50 on each racks are used for scoring only. Each player cuts the deck. Whoever has the lowest card goes first and becomes the dealer. The dealer shuffles cards and deals out 10 to all players. As each card is dealt, each player immediately places in the slot on their rack. Players must insert the first card in slot 50, second card in slot 45, and so on. Dealer places remainder of uncut cards into the left side of the draw discard tray. As pictured here, the rack is full of cards at the beginning of a round. Please note that the cards are not in any particular order. The undealt portion of cards, known as the stockpile, is played face down into the tray. Some editions don't come with a tray, so just have two stacks of cards also as pictured here. The top card is laid face up beside it in the other compartment of the tray to start the discard pile. Players take turns beginning to the left of the dealer. A player must take one card, either the top card from the stockpile or the top discard card. If they take the top discard card, they must exchange it for one from their rack, which they discard. If they take the top card from the stockpile, they may exchange it for one card in their rack or discard it if they choose. When cards are exchanged, the player must place the new card in the slot from which the old card is taken. If the stockpile is used up before any player goes racco, the discard pile is turned over in the tray and used as a stockpile again. To win a round, a round ends when one player goes racco. In order to go racco, a player must have all 10 cards in their rack reading a low card in the number 5 slot to a high card in the number 50 slot in any combination of increasingly higher cards, just as shown here. Each picture here shows two of many combinations a player will have to go through in a round to get a racco. The player who goes racco scores 75 points, 5 for each of the 10 cards in their rack, and 25 points for going racco. 
The other players score five points for each card in the rack in low and high combinations, starting with the card in the number five slot and ending where the succession of higher cards has been broken. This example shows a score of 15 points as card 39 in the 15 slot is followed by card 15 in the 20 slot. No points are scored for the rest of the slots in the rack even though they have been arranged correctly. Sometimes a player may score only 5 points in a round because the card in the number 10 slot is lower than the card in the number 5 slot, even though the remaining 9 cards are in order. The game takes 500 points to win. The first player to total this amount wins the game. Please note that when two or more players score more than 500 points, the highest total wins. Regular racco for two players will provide more fun and competition if the following rule is used. A player may not go racco for a score of 75 points unless they have a run of at least three cards in sequence included in their rack. For example, 28, 29, and 30, or 43, 44, 45, something in numerical order. The game also does allow partner play. Four may play as partners, two against two. The score of the two partners are added together after each round. The pair scoring 500 points first wins the game. The other game that can be played is Bonus Racco. The object of Bonus Racco is for a player to score 50 to 400 extra bonus points by including a sequence of runs of three to six cards in their rack before going Racco. All of the regular Racco rules are used. This game is more of a challenge as a player must decide to go Racco with a score of only 75 or wait to improve their rack for a bonus score. The bonus is scored only by the player who Raccos. Their opponents receive only 5 points for each of the cards in their racks in low-high combination. The bonuses scored for the runs are as follows. In a 3-card run, you get your 75-point Racco plus a bonus of 50 points. In a 4-card run, you get your 75 points plus a bonus of 100. In a 5-card run, you get your 75 plus a bonus of 200. And in a 6-run or more, you get your 75 points plus a bonus of 400. Please note, if the player whose Racco has 2 or more runs in the rack, they receive a bonus for only one of them, the longest if there is a difference. The game does come with one additional variation suggestion. A game may be played for any number of rounds using chips instead of keeping score. The player who Rackos gets one chip from each of their opponents for a rack with no runs in it, two chips for a rack with three card run in it, three chips for a four card run, and five chips for a five card run, and nine chips for a six or more card run. The player having the most chips at the end of the agreed number of rounds is the winner. Well, this has been an overview of Racco. Racco is a very well-built card game for Milton Bradley. Uh, the game is still in print today, as I've mentioned, under Hasbro's banner. Uh, it's also been produced by Ravensburger, Jumbo Games, and a few other manufacturers in Europe. Uh, the game is very easy to pick up, very easy to learn, very easy to play. Uh, it is a family-friendly game, so it's good for adults and kids alike. So if you want to have a family game night or want to get, introduce your kids to gaming, Racco is a decent option for you. Uh, there's not very many components to it. There's not very many mechanics. So it is a very easy game to pick up, like I said. The game goes online anywhere from about 10 to 20 bucks, depending on what version you find. They're all just about the same. Uh, some do come with a plastic draw discard tray. Some don't, but that doesn't detract from the game in the slightest. Um, the game, like I said, is very easy to play, very easy to learn. Uh, the cards are just uh, nice to look at. They're very uh, well designed. They have nice uh, uh, materials, so they're not real flimsy. Uh, so if you haven't played Racco before, I'd probably recommend taking a look at it. Uh, like I said, it's more of a family-friendly game versus a heavier-duty game for like a veteran game night or something like that but it is uh, a decent game and it's been around for a long time and uh, I don't foresee it going out of print anytime soon so if you haven't tried Racco before I'd recommend picking up this game. Well that's it from us here at the Gamers Closet. We'd like to thank you for checking out our video on Racco from Milton Bradley. If there's a game in the future you'd like us to review or go over, please put it in the comments below. Please hit subscribe so that way you can be the first to check out our future content. And as always, please have a great gaming day.